Everyone loves potatoes. They're versatile. Whether you fry them, bake them, boil them, shoot them out of a gun, many uses. You get the point. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make the perfect roasted potato. Crunchy exterior with a fluffy interior with a couple of secret ingredients. You do not want to miss this. Welcome back to Big Time Eaters. Welcome back to Big Time Recipes. I'm your host, Ezra. Let's talk about the ingredients. Cubed up Yukon gold potatoes. You can also use russets. Thyme, rosemary, fresh chopped parsley, garlic crushed but still in the skins, black truffle mayo, grated Parmesan, baking soda, cooking oil, as well as some beef tallow. And of course, salt and black pepper. All right guys, first things first, with our potatoes, just want to briefly touch on these in the B-roll there. I cut them so they're all even, but I also cut it so that there's as many corners as possible because the corners are where the crunchy, crispy bits come together, right? So get those chopped up. And then we got a pot of boiling water here. Got three and a half liters or about 3.75 quarts of water coming up to a boil here. And here's where the secret starts, right? First secret ingredient is going to be some baking soda. This is sodium bicarbonate is what it's called. And essentially what happens when you mix this into the water, it roughs up the exterior of the potato so that we can get more craggly edges for oil and fat to seep into making more crispy and more timer and more better potatoes. So we'll go in with a teaspoon of that into our water. We'll just eyeball it. That's about a teaspoon. Get that added in. And then we'll go in with about a quarter cup of salt here as well. And this is to season our potatoes as they cook so that the salt penetrates through and then we'll season the outside with our other ingredients that we had listed. But now we can go ahead and get our potatoes added into our pot of water. Be careful with this part. Do not want to burn yourself. Just get it as close to the water as possible to prevent the spillage from happening. And then give everything a mix. And it's okay if your water is not fully boiling uh, before you add your potatoes in. It'll still cook as it's warming up. So now we let that go about 25 to 30 minutes. We want to push it to the limit where it's like falling apart, but we can still carefully extract it uh, without them getting too beat up. And we'll check back. All right, guys, potatoes have been boiling for about 27 minutes and they're right where we wanted to be. They're falling apart. And you can see on this potatoes specifically that the baking soda has done its job of making the water a little bit more basic rather than acidic, which makes the exterior a little bit more rough. Let's go get these strained and we'll be back over here. All right, guys, so we've got our potatoes drained and you can see the baking soda definitely did its job. This is a better angle here, how there's the fluffy edges in addition to cooking it uh, for the amount of time that we did. The edges are already rough, roughed up where it's like almost the potatoes want to mash themselves. Now what we're going to do is we're going to set our salt grinder to a coarse grind so that there's good crystals to go with some cranks of that. And now we'll just toss it to make it the edges even more craggly. Got the oven preheating to a 400 degree. And then we're going to coat the bottom with our olive oil or avocado oil and our beef tallow. And then we'll get these potatoes on there and get them roasting. So we're back. We've got our beautiful pot of golden brown, delicious, crispy potatoes. And just talking you guys through the steps that we took over there, we initially roasted the potatoes for about 30 minutes and then took the garlic out since it was softened enough. And then I chopped it up. This is going to be for the final topping, final assembly with our ingredients right here. And then for the last 20 minutes of roasting, we went around about three rounds. So a total of a hour and a half of roasting these potatoes. The last 20 minutes or so is when we put in that stage and time to ensure that the flavor is released into the potatoes, but that it did not burn. So we've got our beautiful herb crusted potatoes. I've also got it resting here 
in paper towels to remove any of the excess oil that is in the pan. Also, don't throw away that oil, guys. That is a beautiful flavor enhanced infused oil slash beef towel. Make sure that you can put over the top of meats, um, finishing oils for salads, anything, man. That is wonderful flavor. So don't waste that. But as far as what we're going to do now, we're going to do the final assembly. That begins with our truffle mayo. We're going to get a few tablespoons of that in here. And alternatively, if you can't find truffle mayo, you can, of course, just use regular mayonnaise. QP mayonnaise is a good substitute. This is just going to bring that final layer of flavor that we're looking for. And then we'll go in with our parsley, our garlic confit, or fried garlic as well as our Parmesan, going with a touch more parsley, and some cranks of black pepper. Toss our potatoes in and give everything a mix. You guys, you can hear how wonderfully crispy it is. This is just going to bring the flavor up a notch, the final sort of garnish. You can smell that truffle flavor on the mayo. Oh guys, this is going to be going to be eating this by the forkfuls. I promise if you take the time to make a good roasted potato, people will love you for it. I promise. So that's pretty much it. We're just going to taste for seasoning. See if we need any more salt. Wow. Guys, that is incredible. Salt is good. I think a little bit more black pepper and we're set. Give that a last mix and let's get this served up. All right, guys, we got it pleated up here. Just topped up a little bit more parsley, a little bit more Parmesan. And let's get a bite of this. Wow. Mmm. That overwhelming crunch and is then met with the fluffiness, that pungent Parmesan flavor and the strong notes of truffle in that truffle mayo. Wow. That's a good, good roasted potato. Takes a little bit of time and effort, but man, is it worth it. Let's get the dense test. Guys, the dense test is here, back in blood. Let's, uh, let's give this a try. Already it's smelling wonderful. Mmm, the aromatics, you can smell that truffle. Let's go in for a spoonful. Right there, cheers. <laughs> that is so crispy. Mmm, you taste that oil with that truffle. It's a nice collaboration. So nice, gonna gonna have to take it. All right guys, that brings us to another recipe ending. Thank you for joining us for this recipe. Please try it out, it's very worth it. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below, share with your friends and family. They need to know how to cook in the kitchen, all right? And if you want any more recipes, reviews, and challenge content, don't forget to subscribe either. With that being said, we'll see you in the next video.